speculations whether Ma Meghan Markle was married before, whether Meghan Markle um, had a baby before. We will never know because as we see, she has people who don't speak out. She manages to get people either into fear or for some reason who are too weak to speak out. We do know that by the time she got to college, she was no longer a virgin. When that, when that virginity, I'm, I'm, I'm betting that when she became homecoming queen or even before that, I think she already was very active. She looked very promiscuous. She looked, I mean, it's just by reality, by what we know of the woman, her modus operandi, I mean, yeah, we can safely assume that, right? So let's get a little bit into the few people that we know she dated, the ones she had affairs with, and the men she cheated on. So we know that Meghan Markle was not a virgin by the time she started college. Um, a lot of speculation has been going around over a pregnant picture, over a pre picture when Meghan Markle looks extremely pregnant with this guy and Doria. Because Doria came back into Meghan Markle's life uh, when she graduated from high school. Um, but we will never know because she surrounds herself with people who don't want to speak out or don't want the hassle or don't want to be bothered. But by the time she got to college, she was no longer a virgin. Who she lost her virginity to, I guess we will never know. So, but the first official on record that we can pinpoint Meghan Markle having been with is Steve Lepore, which is a basketball player in, at Northwestern University, but that only lasted six months because he was transferred or went somewhere else. Then she had relationship with four other guys uh, that lasted from that range between four to eight months, the longest, but none of them want to come on record and say anything because they just don't want the hassle, period. By the way, they're all white men. Nothing wrong with dating only white men, but this is the 43% Nigerian woman, which of course she's not. So, yes. So right there we have about five relationships, if not more. These are five relationships during uh, her college years. Uh, the only most famous ones is of course Steve Lepore because she likes cash, so she likes to say, oh, that's okay that people find out she was with a very famous basketball player, you know, even if it's one. You know, that's like that. After that, in 2003, she hooked up for about five to six months with this guy. I'm, and I apologize if I'm if I'm not saying the name correctly. I'm, I'm just trying to. Um, it's called Sean um, Zagan, Zagan, Zagan. Uh, you know, he was with him for, in 2003 for a brief six months, six to seven months. Their relationship went nowhere. OK. Um, and then, of course, she moved on to um, Brett Ryland, another man she dated in 2003-2004, before she hooked up with Trevor Engelson. She hooked up with Trevor Engelson and moved in with him almost right away in 2004. Because we know how Megan operates. She takes over. It's not just... It's not just dating when she has her eyesight on somebody and given the fact that she saw him as an easy target because he was immediately what's the word smitten by her i mean this poor i'm so happy he's in a much better place now i'm sure emotionally and mentally but i'm sure that he looks back and thinks why was i such an idiot to even be involved with that kind of woman okay now that he has a quality woman so almost immediately Meghan markle hooked up and lived with Trevor Engelson. Trevor Engelson was a mildly successful producer back then. And her father, even though she was living with Trevor Engelson, still was helping her with the car, with the expenses. No, she never had a broken car door. That's absolute BS. That's been debunked hundreds of times. So why would Megan need to be a struggling actress she wasn't a struggling actress in the sense like other, other actors that are struggling that when they mean by that it means that they have to work and in, in order to make ends meet because they can't make a living out of being an actress Meghan Markle was living in a very nice house or apartment with Trevor Engelson her father was helping her financially still 
<laughs> so she was dating Trevor from 2004 until then. And then, of course, we have Meghan Markle taking off, doing other little things. In 2010, she did a movie, Remember Me. Well, she didn't do a movie. She was in a movie where she was a very minor role with Pattinson, Robert Pattinson, with whom she had an affair. They, of course, they all come and deny it, but she would stay up really late nights with him, serenading, you know, locked in there. And his, uh, what's it called? What do you guys call that thing that they have? Um, the actors, I don't know. They give him like a cabin or something like, I don't know. And it's not a cabin. Well, wherever the actor was given to stay in, you know, like his dressing room. So he, she would spend endless nights with him there him playing that guitar. And of course, Trevor Engelson calling, calling, calling and saying, listen, Megan, are you screwing around on me? <laughs> How dare you know? I'm, I'm a faithful woman. She hooked up with Ashton Kutcher, Kutcher, sorry. And that one movie lineup that Meghan Markle did. The problem that we have is that they all deny it because now they're too embarrassed to say it or they don't remember her. We have Bram Russell saying that he may have kissed that woman, but he doesn't remember because she was not remarkable. We have a, a lot of rumors with her and Matt Lauer. These are rumors, okay? These are rumors with Matt Lauer and the guy, uh, Howie Mandel, with Deal or No Deal, to the point that his wife got really angry with him because he was spending too much time with her. We have, so these, these the ones with Howie Mandel and Matt Lauer are rumors. People know that she locked herself with Matt Lauer knowing the character of the two people involved in that dressing room. It is safe to assume, and if you look at their interaction, that something happened. So in two, this is in 2010 that Meghan Markle makes the movie Remember Me, where she hooked up with Robert Pattinson. And then I did a video a while ago, The Rise and Fall, I think it's called, Meghan Markle. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up and I'll link it here so you look at it. She went to Hong Kong. She, she moved uh, to Canada, Toronto where she's rumored to have had an affair with Patrick Adams, the guy who, I mean, this guy is married and can't seem to stop posting stuff about Meghan Markle. The latest ones were that's done that him and Meghan Markle jointly agreed to post out those two pictures because there's absolutely, and I want to make this clear, no way that, Pat, uh, that Patrick uh, Adams would have posted those pictures without Meghan Markle's approval. And all of this because there were too many headlines, negative headlines of Meghan Markle. So they wanted to distract by posting those two pictures. But those two pictures to me are very indicative of the intimacy between these two people. Because even the way Meghan Markle's looking at him, th these are not pictures or they were not takes. They were, these were not taken while they were, you know, filming. These were taken after filming. Okay, so if I were Patrick Adams' wife, if you're lending yourself to this little game, I'd be horribly mortified and embarrassed. Okay, so we have six or seven guys. We know uh, Robert Pattinson was with Meghan Markle. We have um, Patrick Adams. Some people say that they had a very steamy affair on set. If his wife wants to turn a blind eye you know that's fine <laughs> that's up to her and then we have of course Rory uh, sorry Corey Vitello now Meghan Markle divorced Trevor Engelson in 2014 which is why people are saying that falsely saying that Meghan Markle hooked up with Corey Vitello after her divorce that is not true they hooked up much earlier Meghan Markle divorce was finalized in 2014, but she applied for it, I believe, at the end of 2013 or early 2014, where Trevor Engelson didn't see this coming. But what I'm going to make a parenthesis here is in 2012, I did that video of the rise and falls of, Meg of Meghan Markle, and she went to Hong Kong and she posted, I know because I posted the picture of her in Hong Kong, that she posted of herself on Instagram claiming that she was there with suits, uh, with suits, uh, something related to suits her show. 
nobody from Suits ever went to Hong Kong, nor did any promotional. In 2012, they were not that big. The, thing, the show had just gotten picked up. So what was Megan doing in Hong Kong in 2012? If anybody has the answer. Now, we know that Meghan Markle started yachting. Oops. Started being friends with, uh, what's his name? Um, Marcus Anderson in 2011 when she got to Toronto and she actually went into Soho House where she used to get a lot of clients. I mean, she used to meet a lot of people. You know, it's, so through Marcus Anderson and there's this gentleman that will come in my channel I told you about it with about eight videos, uh, uh, sorry, with some videos of eight different trips he took with her. They're called yachting trips because originally they were yachting and some of them are on yachts. Some of them are in some other places, but she was not there because of suits. So what was Meghan Markle doing in Hong Kong in 2012, flying to London in 2012, 2012, 2013, because there's a lot of pictures of Meghan Markle flying to London in 2013 from her own Instagram account. She was still married to Trevor Engelson, by the way. In 2012, and 20, she had just gotten married. I mean, she married Trevor Engelson, if I'm not mistaken, in 2011, September 2011. And this woman was flying to London on her own in 2012. No Trevor Engelson anywhere. In fact, had you seen her Instagram account, you would have thought that she was a single woman out and out out to party and catch a man. 2013, she went did quite a few trips and we're going by her Instagram account. She did trips uh, to Europe without Trevor Engelson. She did trips, <laughs> I mean, to Los, uh, well, she was in, uh, to Los Angeles while filming in Toronto because she did that golf tournament. Um, so this is right after she got divorced while well, she was with Cora Vitello. And now we have Rory McIlroy, the famous golf player. And the infamous sex tape with that photographer, which I had Kevin Black on my channel. And, and this guy, it's famous, it's a professional, and it's well known for that. You know, so he's a pro. This is a man who moves in the business, who, who, who lives that kind of business and he has confirmed that that was a real tape of Meghan Markle doing something with salad with this guy and and Kevin Blatt is a man who's seen quite a lot of stuff and he was shocked at what he saw in that tape so so yeah so while she's with Corey Vitello she is with a photographer that we don't know that I know who he is um, with that photographer while being with Corey Vitello with Rory McElroy and Mr. De Soto. Yes, the hockey player who, of course, has come out and denied. But prior to that, our Megsy was spending most of her time at a hockey rink. And we know that Megan doesn't do anything just for the heck of it. She suddenly became a foodie when she was dating Corey Vitello. And then she was an avid hockey player. And then she's into photography. If you're enjoying the video, beautiful people, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, I apologize if you're shadow banned by YouTube. There's absolutely nothing I can do. I have chatted with them. Uh, please make sure you're still subscribed um because they're unsubscribing a lot of people i apologize for that there's nothing absolutely nothing i can do censorship is ruling the social waves that's all i can tell you uh without getting canceled thanks for the super chats the paypal donations and please buy a raffle ticket the deadline is tomorrow i'm, I'm kind of hoping at least i sell 100 which i hope i do i mean i only put out 200 but um it's, so if you have the time or the inclination to do so by a raffle ticket is for a good cause. Um, and yes, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So while Meghan Markle was with Trevor Engelson, she hooked up with Pattinson. She did mysterious trips to Hong Kong, Europe, without her husband, by the way. All at the expense of Soho, all paid for by Soho House. Because there was this article that I posted also on the rise and fall. You, I'll, I'll link this video so you can 
have it and take a look at it because I go into very, very many details of Meghan Markle's uh, and I post the pictures from her on Instagram that she posted herself, okay? So she's doing all these trips. Some of them were with Jessica Mulroney. Some of them were not. Some of them were completely on her own and she's always gutted to be leaving London from 2012, 2013 when she entered the Soho scene and she got a lot of clients. She was also doing, while married to Trevor Engelson, trips to Florida. And we know that Virginia Roberts had put her in the witness list. And just so you know, a judge will never approve a witness or to be called a witness. We'll never approve a person to be called a witness unless this person has some relevant information to the case so they don't waste the people's time. So from what we understand, she was an approved witness by the judge, which means that Meghan Markle had relevant information in regards to the Virginia Roberts or Virginia Jufre, whichever you want to call it. So this is so convoluted and it all interlaps because that's how Meghan Markle operates. So she dumps her husband. I don't know why Trevor didn't see that one. I mean, wasn't he checking up her Instagram account? I would, unless of course, but, and yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. And then of course she had the tip, but no. So let's go back to this. So she leaves Trevor. She's hooked up already with Corey Vitello. While being hooked up with Corey Vitello that we know of, she has Rory McIlroy and she has that hockey player. They have all denied it, of course. Uh, and she's doing all of these LA, uh, remember that lady that came off? Good for her, good for her. She bagged the prince, you know, she was everything she's not supposed to be. She's divorced, she's a single mother. Remember, she let it slip. Unless Meghan Mar I can assume that she thought that because Meghan Markle might have shown up with a rented kid to, the, to there to inspire pity. That's the only thing I can think of because this woman looked like she knew what she was talking about. That Meghan Markle was divorced and a single mother or had children, had a child prior to marry Harry. So either Meghan pulled an Archie and a Lily and brought a rented child to the set just to inspire pity so she'd get more money or whatever. So yeah, so she was in LA while filming in Toronto because this lady claims that Meghan Markle was divorced already. She divorced Trevor uh, in 2000. The, the divorce was finalized in 2014. Unless, of course, Meghan Markle had been lying, which is actually what happened to Trevor, to Corey, that he thought that she was genuinely divorced when he started hooking up with her. But it turns out that she wasn't. <laughs> so either Meghan was lying about being divorced, which is not good for Trevor, or she started hooking up with all these other men while being with Corey Vitello. Either or is not a good thing. While being with Corey Vitello, she was also dating. She dated, as I said, she hooked up with Rory McIlroy. She hooked up with, uh, with the hockey player. And for sure, she hooked up big time with this other photographer while with Corey Vitello. And enters Prince Harry. She also hooked up with him. So Meghan Markle had Corey Vitello, the photographer, you know, like uh, she hooked up with Rory McIlroy. I don't know if that stopped at some point, but she for sure was doing the photographer and Corey Vitello when she started doing Prince Harry. Three, three. So far, we've only known of, or we, we think that that is, you know, She's not cheated on Harry so far. So let's look at this. We had the guy from 2003, Zaken. We had uh, Lepore, Brett, um, what's it called? Um, Brett Rylan. We have Trevor Engelson. Oh, and in college, there are four other guys that they don't want to say his name. So let's say Steve Lepore and four other guys as five. Then we have... Um, those are those are okay because she was, of course, not seeing anybody that we know of. And then, you, and then you, she had Brett Ryland in two thousand and three. 
you know, as along with Sean Zaken. In 2003, she she went back to back from one relationship to the other because in 2004, she started living with Trevor Engelson, okay? So in 2003, she was with Sean, Brett Ryland and Sean Zaken. I apologize if I'm not saying correctly. And then Trevor Engelson. And while with Trevor Engelson, she did a few mysterious trips to... She did deal no deal, of course, where she felt exploited. And the rumors are that she was hooking up with Howie Mandel, which of course would come and deny that because that would mean the end of his marriage. And then we have Matt Lauer. And then we have her mysterious trips to New York, to Hong Kong, Saudi Arabia, and Europe while married to Trevor Engelson. When she officially was divorced, she was dating um, Corey Vitello, but we know it was earlier. Uh, she had affairs with Rory McElroy, with a hockey player, and with a photographer. And then now she's with Harry. And these are the ones that we know of. The ones that we know of. Because there are plenty. Oh, and Ashton Kutcher. And Robert Pattinson, by the way. I forgot Robert Pattinson. So we have Robert Pattinson while she was with, sorry, let me rephrase that. While she was with Trevor Engelson, she hooked up with Robert Pattinson, um, allegedly, um, Matt Lauer, Howie Mandel. She did mysterious trips to Hong Kong, Dubai, and Europe all on her own. And then she met Corey, then she dumped, what's his name, uh, Corey, um, Trevor Engelson. And started dating Corey Vitello, although they both interlapped because she lied to Corey Vitello. And then, of course, she started taking trips to Los Angeles while filming in Toronto because she was working as a caddy while being this famous actress that everybody seems claims that she was. She was caddying in Los Angeles for, for golfers. That's what she was doing in, from 2014 until, you know, at least... In, we know she did it in 2014 and 2015 because the lady said so. She was there. She was very well loved and, and she went there repeatedly. She also went to Florida, New York, London. And all of this after she was divorced and living with Corey Vitello. And then she had an affair with or she was dating this photographer and she then went with that photographer to Rwanda, didn't she? Where she used to disappear for hours on end <sighs> while she was still living with Corey Vitello and then she started dating Harry while also doing other clientele so I mean and the fact that this woman is allowed to call herself a duchess or use a royal title is baffling to me the fact that Charles allowed those children to hold titles instead of saying no you left the institution your children deserve the right to lead normal lives they're not going to be given prince and princess titles they're no longer part of the royal family the, and the only reason why i think they got those titles is because charles is thinking of bringing harry back and he has never stopped being a royal a working royal hence Meghan markle the duchess of sussex the biggest hole there is, if you ask me. But then again, it's just my biased opinion. What a shameful display. What an embarrassment for the royal family that they're still allowing the charade to go on. That they still have two children. Mind you, those children, these invisible children in the line of succession without the proper documentation that verifies that they belong in the line of succession because that has constitutional problems. Right now, Prince Harry is counselor of state and is next in line to be regent. Because I repeat to my beautiful people, domicile and residence are two completely separate things. Harry still domiciled in the United Kingdom. He has never renounced. In fact, he has a lawsuit in the United Kingdom that we know nothing of because it's gone quiet. It was supposed to be going on in September. So what's happening to the lawsuit? What's happening to Harry's lawsuit about uh, bodyguards? And by the way, one of Harry's uh, bodyguards that is going on with him, walks around with him all the time, that bald guy, 
was with him in the UK while he was a working royal, and now he's following him everywhere he goes. Suddenly, that lawsuit has gone quiet, and it was supposed to have happened in September. We're at the beginning of October, and we know nothing about that. As usual, leave me your thoughts. And man, really, Megan, you know, sure knows how to go around. What do you think? <laughs>